So what exactly is a Vivaldi board? This is a Vivaldi board. It's like three things in one. It functions as an inner cover with a top entrance. There's a hole in the middle for ventilation and for the bees to come up through. A place to put winter food. A place for moist air to escape. Also a two inch high space up here to put moisture absorbing material, such as a burlap sack, like that. So moisture will wick up through this bottom hole into your material and then ventilation here will dry out the material. So the question is where would you put the food? Well, they thought of that. This is the magical part of the Vivaldi board. This screened area sits on top of your hole. You put your food, your fondant, uh, your dry sugar, whatever you like, underneath this thing. Then you can put your moisture wicking over that. And what's left is a space for the bees to go up to eat without touching the wicking material. So I got this at Brushy Mountain Bee Farm. It was $22, and I have to say that the construction is excellent. It's definitely a quality product. Definitely nice joinery, actual plywood, um, really solid screen material. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good product for sure, and I think it's worth the money. So this product really solves three problems. Warm, moist air will come up through the hole. It actually goes into the food that you lay here. So if you have dry sugar or fondant, uh, moist air will come up and uh, keep that moist, which is a good thing. There's ventilation here, so the top is well ventilated. We have a, an upper entrance. We have a place to put winter food. So this takes the place of a quilt board, an inner cover, an emery shim, um, and a top entrance. So all those things are replaced by this one, one product. And I'm really, really happy with this. So let's add some fondant and go put this up on the hive. Here's the fondant I made last night. So, so this is it. It's an inner cover. We have a front entrance, a top entrance, ventilation, a place to put food, protection here to put your moisture absorbent material on top of this. Warm, moist air will come up through this middle hole here. That will keep the fondant pliable. If you put dry sugar, it'll keep it a little bit damp so that the bees can uh, get at it a little easier and uh, it will, all the moisture is going to wick up out of here and, and out of these vents or into the material. It is recommended and I'm going to give it a try to use burlap. So that's it.